Well, her son's scooter was stolen and then ditched in a canal, and we're talking now four years later. The situation still isn't settled. So that South Florida mom decided to leave this scooter head scratcher to our own Laren Livingston. That's why I'm asking you to help me. It's an interesting <laughs> conundrum. Hopefully we can, we can solve the puzzle. Yeah. But first, we have to find all of the pieces. After four years, I'm lucky I kept all this. Kimberly Pena tells me in April 2013, her son got a scooter. He didn't have it long, right? Because it was stolen from their driveway. This was 2013, 13. In yes. October. Yes. And a few sheriff's office reports later, yes. we find out that it the ended. scooter was recovered. Mm -hmm. Three months later, ditched in a nearby canal. Police called a tow company to get the scooter out of the water. Kimberly tells me the thieves were eventually caught and convicted, but more than four years later, her submerged scooter situation resurfaced. Find out from the DMV that there's a lien and I cannot renew the tag on the vehicle that he's driving now because they want $725 from us. Who is they? The towing company. My thing is, is why am I paying for something that was stolen from me? This crucial puzzle piece helps complete the picture. A certified letter from the tow company sent way back in January 2014 saying they were going to sell this vehicle on February of 2014. Okay. So I just assume that that means you're done with it. If you continue to read on there, it would say that you're subject to a lien process also. All spelled out on the back of that mailer. Brett Holcomb owns Westway Towing, which fished out the now infamous scooter. When they never heard back from the Peñas, the scooter went to auction. And then we ran into you. He says in his line of work, he often gets left holding a few bags of busted bikes and then some. The lean process it was put in force a few years back to keep uh, uh, people and lien holders from abandonment of their property on the towing companies. But each case is different. If there's a reason there that they can explain to me, I I'm not going to hold that charge on it. So we'll just release the lien and make everybody happy. Which brings us to the final piece of the puzzle, the notice or discharge of wrecker operator's lien. You know, at the end of the day, we'll make it right. We yeah. hand delivered that notice Yay! to Kimberly. This is priceless. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So Her sunken scooter problem solved. Now I expect a really nice Mother's Day. <laughs> And my birthday falls on the day after Mother's Day, the 14th. So, Christopher, I look forward to my card as well. <laughs> that lien process that began four years ago for this family is allowed by Florida law if the tow was authorized by a law enforcement agency, which was the case here. And failing to respond or read all of that legal jargon could keep you from getting a license plate or a renewal sticker, as was the case here as well. You can dispute those liens, though, and we have info on that at Local10.com. Okay, Laren, thanks a lot. Do you have a problem you want to leave to Laren or just want to get him a gift, a new vest for his birthday coming up <laughs> on Monday? Send him an email to Laren at Local10.com. That's Laren, L-A-Y-R-O-N at Local10.com.